Pra, vou pegar uma prainha amanhã, hein? Well, we are on our fifth day, uh -oh. sixth, seventh, seventh day, and uh, we arrived in Kyoja. So everything is going according to the plan. So uh -huh. that's good. Uh, we found this camping, which it seems to be very nice. We've already made our home, as you can see, <laughs> in the middle of everyone. <laughs> Had um, to be done. And. Um, so Kyoji is like, uh, as we said, 50 kilometers from Venice. They call it Little Venice here, so it seems to be the region of Venice. Yeah. We didn't arrive, uh, we didn't check Ven uh, the city yet. We we're gonna check it a little bit later. Yeah, we arrived last night. Just to, the time was find the camping, sort yourself out here, get something to eat and pass out. Because yeah. we're so tired Ooh. and uh, now you're just having breakfast. Ooh. And doing some work. Uh, and later we will check it out how to James and show everything. But for now, everything is good. After breakfast and a good night of rest, we went to see the city. We met with Mariana, who was really keen to show us around. It seems like we were about to have a great day. Okay. Particular, the Cristo Linea. It's like the Cristo Linea. It's the Cristo Linea. It's like 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 the Cristo Linea. It's the Cristo Linea. It's like the Cristo Linea. It's like Mariana continued telling us all about Georgia and its similarities with Venice. That everybody has a boat. The person might not have a car, but definitely a boat, even though it's more expensive no than a car. Pero el barco, no? And you cannot fish in this water. Apparently, it's not so clean. Well, with so many fishing boats around, it doesn't really surprise me. The houses have their first floor as a storage, and people live on the second and third floor due to the yearly flood, just like in Venice. The houses in the historical city centre are painted every three years, funded by the European Union, as every other houses in Europe in historical city centres, a fact you didn't know. And everything looks so artistic. We passed in front of the gate of the city, which, as Mariana told us, used to be the only way in and out of Kyoja, before the other bridges were constructed. Also, 
We passed in front of the mayor house where, as she said, Garibaldi, the father of Italy, is stayed and made a speech from the balcony in 1867. We went to see the oldest clock in the world or two, which dates back to 1386. Then we visited the place where we can see Sotto Marina, the other side of Chioggia, on the other part of the lagoon, where we are actually staying. After, we went to watch the sunset. The sunset in Georgia is absolutely remarkable. The day after, we reordered ourselves going to a restaurant. What you're about to hear from Fernanda is absolutely shocking. I am still recovering from that. So what we love about Italy is this uh, all-you-can-eat Japanese restaurant. She has just said <laughs> that this Japanese restaurant is the best Italian food she had. Well, even though I disagree with her, she's got a point. These all-you-can-eat Japanese restaurants are a delight, particularly if there is a surprise at the end of your meal. Look at surprise. Okay. Surprise and a surprise. Grazie. Go. We got a grappa here and the the restaurant, so they said it's really strong. <laughs> In fact, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. See, <laughs> for <laughs> No, but what about <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> he got a shot of grappa and he's completely drunk. No, seriously, it's the strongest <laughs> shot I've ever had. Really? And I worked in a bar. Of everything. I don't know, it's burning. It's really? burning. <laughs> I have to cycle. <laughs> Two blobs. It's not like he's gonna kill himself. I'll never know. Then you went to sleep early, as the next day was going to be a long one. So, we are heading now to Venice, and we decided to come by boat and not by road, because the roads are too chaotic, too crowded, full of trucks, and also because this way here is much more beautiful. I really hate waking up early. Today we woke up at around 6 a.m. But look at our presents. Too bright. Huh? Too bright. <laughs> Too bright to see it. Uh, not for me. So what we're gonna do is we're taking this traghetto, which is how they call boats here. We're gonna go to another island. We were in Georgia. We are going to another island called Palestrina. Then we're gonna cycle for 15 kilometers to an hour. Then take another traghetto. Then we're gonna arrive to another island. Then another 15 kilometers in an hour uh, cycling. Another traghetto, and we're gonna arrive where in the place where we're gonna sleep tonight. We're gonna leave all our stuff and head to Venice on boat. How you feeling?
So we are in Lido, this island very close to Venice, and I can already see it there. There, at the back is Venice. Can't wait. I think I'm in love with Lido. Uh, we are in this island or city or many cities in an island called Lido and we can see Venice from here which is our main goal today but then seriously this place is amazing it's so so beautiful all the houses the little streets and the, the canals they're so so beautiful look at up I hope no Italians can ever see this video, but it's true, it's one of the best videos here.